In this video, we're going to take a look at how long you should keep your subscribers on your email marketing lists who aren't opening your emails. This one is quite a tricky subject to address and none of us want to delete people from our lists, but sometimes keeping these people can cause more harm than good. So first up, we need to define what exactly do we mean by a non-engager? Well, according to Litmus, we can put these people into three categories, never active, a lapsed customer, inactive and current customer inactivities. Okay, so let's take a look at these three categories and how we should deal with them. These people have never engaged with any of your emails right from the moment they signed up to receive them. There are a number of reasons why this could be. For example, they could have supplied an email address that they don't check all that often, or perhaps didn't fully realize that they were signing up to receive your email marketing. As a guide, if these people haven't opened the first 10 of your emails over a period of say four to five months, then you should delete them. Gmail say that you should use the 150 days as the benchmark for deletion. These are people who historically have purchased from you and perhaps have previously opened your email. These are people who have now stopped both purchasing and opening your emails. For this group of people, the advice is that you should be deleting them after a period of around six months of becoming inactive. Prior to deleting them though, it's worth targeting them with a re-engagement campaign. Now, a good way to do this is to offer them a discount or an incentive to start purchasing from you again. You can also directly ask them if they'd like to remain on your mailing list and what they can expect to receive. This is where you can outline future incentives or offers that they can expect to receive if they remain on your list. This final category are customers who are still actively purchasing from you, but have stopped opening and engaging with your emails. Final group of people need a little bit of thought and planning to come up with the right campaign to re-engage them. It's highly likely they aren't opening your emails simply because at first glance, things like the subject header line or preview text just aren't striking a chord with them. This is where A-B testing can be your best friend. The approach here would be to identify and segment these people, then A-B test them with a series of email variants directly to them. This group of people just need the right incentive to be offered to them in order for them to start opening and engaging with your email marketing. Final question to address is what happens if you don't do anything? Does it cause your company, brand or domain or sending server any damage if you choose just to leave these non-engagers on your email list in the hope that one day they might start engaging again? Well, the answer here is yes, it can often and does cause damage to all of the above. Nowadays, spam filters are really tight on list hygiene. If they see people are not regularly engaging with your emails, they will then penalize your future sends. If they do this, this dramatically increases the chances that your email marketing will not receive decent inbox placement and would be delivered to your recipient spam folder. So in summary, good housekeeping is more important than ever with your email marketing lists. As difficult as it is to delete people that aren't engaging, keeping them can cause more harm than good. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful and be sure to check out some of the other videos on our channel.